Practice problem 2.16 reads, determine the number of protons, neutrons, and electrons for each of the following atoms. I'm going to go ahead and write the mass number formula at the top because you're going to need it. So mass number equals the number of protons plus the number of neutrons in the nucleus of an atom. Letter A, we want to know the number of protons the number of neutrons, and the number of electrons. First thing is first, we already know the number of protons here. That's one. It's going to be our atomic number, so one proton here. And because there's no charge, which means a positive or a negative sign on the outside of this atom, because this hydrogen is electrically neutral, the number of protons is going to equal the number of electrons. So all we have to do is figure out what the number of neutrons are for a problem like this. And that's going to be using the mass number. We're also told what the mass number is at the top, two here. So we're going to use the mass number formula at the top. Mass number of 2 equals the number of protons, 1 plus x. Then we have to move some things around. So this right here is going to move to the other side. When it does, it cancels, and we have to do the opposite. So 2 minus 1 equals x, where 2 minus 1, of course, is 1. So 1 proton, 1 neutron, and 1 electron. Letter B protons, neutrons, and electrons. Once again, we are told the number of protons. We're told that through the atomic number, and that's going to be 13. And again, in chapter 2, because we've not started talking about ions, because this has no charge, because it is electrically neutral, the number of protons equals the number of electrons. That will not always be true. Um, but for this chapter, because it's electrically neutral, because there's no charge, that is the case. Lucky for us. Uh, we are told what the mass number is here. It's 27. So we're going to use our mass number formula at the top. 27 equals the number of protons plus the number of neutrons. Once again, we need to get x by itself, so we move this to the other side. It cancels, and we do the opposite. So 27 minus 13 equals x, and 27 minus 13 equals 14. So there are 14 neutrons in the nucleus of this atom. That's it for practice problem 2.16. Let me know if you have any questions.